Hey guys, finally found an American made light that doesn't suck. The Lens Light Mini. Here comes the review. Give you guys a couple pictures and we'll be back in just a second. See you in a minute. Hey guys, we're back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little montage I put together for you. I'm going to get through this review real quick so everybody can get back to their regular lives. It comes in a uh, cute little bubble wrap deal. Here is the Lens Light Mini. Obviously this one's gone through hell and back. And uh, you guys will soon find out exactly what it did. Also comes with your uh, user manual a uh, Duracell battery, lens light, uh, stickers, and a business card. So get that out of the way. Oh, and I guess they, they throw in a cool sticker for you even. All right, so let's get back down to the specifics. This is an American-made company. Lens light puts out a great product. Really good people over at Lens light, and uh, I'd like to thank them for sending me this light. And... Uh, you know, I, this is a great piece of American-made gear. If you're like any, if you're anything like me, you go, you guys are always looking for an up-and-coming American-made uh, company, and uh, Lenslight is definitely one of those. Some good people over there. Now, I put the uh, specs in just in text form earlier, just so I don't really like covering that stuff, but I'll do it for you guys anyway. You have 300 lumens on high. There's your low, which is a five lumen and then there's your 300 so you can use this as like a hiking light at your 5 lumen because it lasts at 50 hours at the low output setting so very very cool just for a single one CR123 battery now on high it lasts for an hour and a half so that's pretty decent for a 300 lumen light with a single cell pretty cool um, your uh, bezel diameter is basically an inch inch point six inch point zero six sorry about that length is 3.85 inches and uh, your 300 lumens is uh, 7200 lux at one meter if that's uh, kind of the scale you guys go by now I'm going to give you guys a quick little uh, look at the light if, as if you didn't already get one of the pictures there you see your uh, high impact lens very thick glass there very cool now if you guys look real close at the pictures I showed you earlier I don't know if this one's going to pick it up or not but you'll see a black dot right in the middle of that lens. I'm not real sure what that's for, but, uh, you know, just to be right out there, you know, just pretty straight up with you guys, there's a little black dot in the lens, and I really can't figure out what exactly that is. So that's something to be uh, considered. You don't see it in the beam, but, you know, it's there. Um, this, Like I said, it's got a high-impact lens, very thick glass. It's got a focusable beam, which I think is a really cool feature. Basically, you can use this thing to clear your house back here and then screw it out and use it to shoot at 200 yards. Now, what that allows me to do is use this on uh, basically a weapon, make it a weapon light, weapon mounted light. Um, it's not exactly made for that task, but it's lightweight and it works perfect for that because I can basically screw it back into the fully retracted position and it'll light up a hallway really, really well. And... Uh, then screw it out and light it up light up a target at 200 yards very very cool I'll show you guys that at the end of the video so stay tuned um, it's made out of 775 aerospace grade aluminum and it's hard anodized that coating is uh, extremely tough you'll see that it's uh, kinda knocked off right there and that is because it's taken a nosedive from a story high and uh, that's all that ever that's all that happened to it straight onto cement from a balcony story up now this light I think it's pretty tough and uh, I don't think a you know a story is not much so at the end of the video we're gonna take this thing out and drop it off two stories and see how it does it worked perfect at a story as you can see still turns on so we're gonna go try it at two 
see how it does. So stay tuned for that as well. Now uh, let me set this down and kind of talk to you guys just a little bit. I'll zoom in on it for you. Sorry for moving the camera like that. Don't want to get you guys all dizzy. But uh, like I said, it's got a focusable beam. allows you to use it as both a uh, searchlight, kind of a flood type deal, as well as a really, really throwy light, which is very cool. It comes with a Delrin polymer pocket clip. As you can see, it kind of got chewed up a little bit uh, on the nose dive. But this thing's actually really cool. It's only supposed to... Uh, well, I guess it's supposed to not scrape up the car, which is extremely nice, and it's not supposed to chew up your pants. Now, it's got a little hook in there, if you guys can see that, so if it gets caught, it's obviously going to chew your pants up, but, uh, you know, just uh, as far as the material, it's supposed to be very low abrasive, you know, it's a, it's a very low, low abrasive material, which isn't exactly great for a pocket clip, but it's a really cool design, and it works out perfect so well and this is my <laughs> only uh, critique of this light. One of two, I guess I should say. Now let me show you exactly what this is. Let me take this. Uh, now, notice how tiny this Allen wrench is that I have to use to get this little Allen head that holds this pocket clip on there. It is. Okay, now i got to see if I can even hold it with my dang fingers. Okay. Check that out, guys. That is all that holds your pocket clip on. There's no thread locker, no nothing on there. Now, why is that important? Well, first off, it doesn't match the characteristic of the rest of the light. It's not robust. It's not strong. You know, it's just kind of a... I don't know. It just, just doesn't match up with the rest of the light. The character just isn't, isn't the same, you know? The rest of the light's extremely strong, extremely reliable, and uh, that little little bitty allen head just doesn't match up. Now why is that important? <laughs> because you'll notice I have two boxes. That's because I bought two of these lights. Took one out. Now because it's supposed to be capable to lock up to molly, which it's the perfect size, locks up to molly perfectly and it has that little hook so it stays there. But when I was out running around and shooting one day, took these out, you know, doing my testing as usual, I came home with a pocket clip but no light. Not very excited about that. I was pretty, actually pretty upset, you know. Um, so the pocket clip's great, but that screw came undone and I lost the light. Spent about two hours looking for the dang thing and couldn't find it. So that's a little upsetting. Another thing to go along with that is there's no lanyard hole. So, if I was able to put a lanyard on there, maybe I would have been able to see that light, but there's no hole. Now, could I have put a slip knot over it and maybe made it work? Yes, but that's not a very secure way to go about things, and, uh, you know, a little upset about that. Lost the light. That's $159 right down the drain, if I haven't already said what the price was. Now, the price puts you right up there with a uh, Surefire or something like that, but Surefire can't touch you for the lumens, especially for the size and weight, and they don't have the uh, focusable beam, which, you know, that's that's pretty sweet. One thing that I've always had a problem with as far as flashlights go is uh, I've always hated having to buy one light to serve a certain purpose. You know, I, I'd rather have one one platform that I can get familiar with and become proficient with and you know flashlights may may not be all that complicated but in a heated situation you need to be able to count on your light and you need to know it's function you know you need to know the you know I don't know I guess manual of arms if you if you will you need to know how this thing works and need to be able to do it like it's you know second nature but uh, so anyway I've always wanted to have one light and I've never been able to do that so Having this focusable beam is extremely cool. Now, one thing that you will be able to see whenever we go out and do these light throwings is, uh, or light demonstrations, it's a very, very natural looking light. And that's another thing I really love about this flashlight. The light isn't like a cool blue or, you know, some of those weird colors that your other, like a phoenix would throw. And, uh, you know, because that, that honestly kind of gets on my nerves sometimes having that weird you know not natural looking light especially if you're going to be using this to like 
like I do, light up um, certain objects when you're doing a video or something like that, or if you just like natural looking light, um, you know, it's just, just really nice to have that, you know, sunlight mimicked light type quality. Now, um, another, some cool points, you know, I don't, I don't mean to, you know, tear apart this pocket clip. It's actually really, really nice um, as far as the design of the actual clip goes. The attachment may not be all that great because as you can see, it's a little bitty thing, but it is reversible. So you can carry it whichever way you'd like. Um, you know, it doesn't scratch up the car, which is really cool because I've actually got some pretty deep scratches from things that I've uh, had in my back pocket or in my front pocket, either one. Um, it doesn't really bend. It's got a pretty good, uh, you know, elasticity, if you will, to it. Um, holds, I mean, obviously it holds extremely well because I came home with an extra clip and no light. Um, and it's, like I said, it's perfect size for Molly. So those of you overseas using an LBE or, a, you know, law enforcement would really get along with this light well because it's, you know, 300 lumens in, uh, I guess I'll give you a, just a little view, basically a four inch package. You know, it, that's uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's a very nice light. 300 lumens. You can't hardly touch it with anything else. Very, very cool light. Now, uh, I guess we're just going to go outside. I'll show you guys the drop test real quick, which I think will be extremely cool. Be sure to uh, check out Lens Light. Power through focus. There's your contact info there on the box. I'll show you. Uh, there you go little sticker they put on the box there um, you know it's got two modes really simple to click through them uh, oh another thing before we go away it's got a memory on it which makes it perfect for a home defense light see how we've got it right there on uh, high there so 300 lumens you can set it there turn it off real fast stick the gun in your closet do whatever you need to do come back hit it again it's on 300 lumens. It's got a memory to bring it right back to where you turned it off at. So, say we want to turn it to 5, 5 lumens, and go hiking around the mountains, you know, for uh, whatever our 50 hours is on one one cell, which is pretty cool. Then we just turn it off, you know, uh, go about our day, turn it back on, you're still at 5 lumens. Very cool feature. This is as complicated as I want a light, and uh, you know what? It's robust as far as the actual light goes. This thing is a tank. Took the uh, one story drop extremely well, and we're gonna go see how well the uh, little mini light takes a two story drop. So I'll be right back with you guys here in just a minute. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all take care. All right, guys, we're out here on the porch, getting ready to do our uh, lens light mini two story drop. Long way down, and uh, as you can see, the light is on. And away it goes. Looks like it's still on. Let's run down there and check that out real quick. And that's one story. And here's two. Let's see, take a look at it. Looks like it came out of it pretty well. I'm going to take it back in the house. Well, while we're out here, we'll do a little throw testing. There's some light out here, but it shouldn't, shouldn't affect it too bad. Lens looks like it's in good shape. So here's your low, even though there's a pretty decent light here from the street light. You still see it works pretty decently well. Here we're in a kind of a darker spot. See there, got your five lumen light. There we go, there's the 300 lumens, and this is uh, all the way back. So it lights up quite a bit of area here. Now let's screw it out. See if I can do this with one hand, sorry guys and that will go out to 200 yards. That's probably only about 30, but as you can see, it really condenses that light down. Sorry for making it dance around on you guys like that. But uh, as you can see, 
it's really got a lot of throw to it and uh, really a pretty cool light so I'll see you guys back in the house and uh, I guess we'll see you now. Alright guys we're back in the house wanted to show you guys the light real quick show you the damage it took from the uh, little uh, two-story fall let's see if we can go down here there's the uh, damage from the first one-story fall and that is what we got from a two-story fall onto uh, solid concrete so as you can see this lights extremely durable let me do a quick real little light test up against the uh, LD10 from Phoenix I guess we can do a, si a little size comparison too there you go about the exact same size and we will turn some lights off move the camera just a little bit sorry for moving you guys around so much sorry for the reach okay so here we go here's the Phoenix LD10 on low as you can see it's kinda of got that real real bright spot in the middle and uh, a really light throw up against it let me see if I can get this there we go really easy interface on the lens light mini and as you can see it's a really just a more natural looking light here's the lens light wiggling around and there's the Phoenix LD10 now they are both single cells although want the LD10 over here is a double A and the lens light mini is OCR123 you can see that there's quite a bit of difference in the uh, just the overall makeup of the beam now let's go to up to high on the LD or on the uh, lens light mini sorry about that and we're just foot and a half away so it's not that big of a deal here and you've kinda got a you know really just more natural looking light on this side and we will uh, go ahead and tighten it up to go to full blast on the LD10 back to full blast on the lens light mini now I'll focus the beam down on the lens light you can see that's why that thing reaches out to 200 yards look how bright that beam is and it's still a very natural looking light so there you guys go hopefully you guys enjoyed this review I've been looking forward to bringing you guys an American made flashlight and helping the lens light company out just a bit getting their uh, product out there you've got a first hand view of what this thing can take it's built like a tank and uh, you know what guys I appreciate you watching and y'all take care.